This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. So obviously transitions are extremely popular, so in this video we're going to take a look at three awesome spin transitions that you can apply to your videos inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed because we just hit 300,000 subscribers. That's awesome. Thank you. Now I'm trying a new setup here in front of the computer. We'll see how it goes. But in this video, we're going to take a look at creating three types of transitions that can be applied very easily. All right, boom, here we are inside of After Effects and we have two clips already here in place and we want to apply our transition obviously between the cut of these two clips. So the first thing we'll do is create an adjustment layer. Go to layer, new adjustment layer. Awesome. And next we're going to go to effect stylize and we're going to grab motion tile. Then with output width and output height, we're going to set these to maybe 250 and boom. And then check on mirror edges. Now we're ready to go. So now we'll go up to Effect, Distort, and let's add Transform. Awesome. So this is where we're going to do our rotation, our spin. So let's come here a little bit before the cut, maybe like a second, half a second, depending on how fast you want the speed. Let's add a keyframe for rotation. And then let's move forward past the cut to the next clip and maybe go to half a second or a second. And then let's set the rotation to X to 1X, right? But also you can rotate this and you can see there is no you know, it's seamless. There's no cuts. So with this one X, we can see, boom, we're spinning over to the next clip. And that looks really cool. I like that. And let's select both these keyframes. Let's hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy. Ease keyframes. All right. And then let's make sure use composition shutter angle is unchecked. And then let's go to the shutter angle and we can set this to, you know, 180 degrees. And it'll blur things out. And if you want, you can increase that to 360 if you want. If you really want it crazy, uh, it's up to you. And now we have our spin transition and that is awesome. So this was our first transition style. Let's move on to the next transition style, which is still the same spin effect, the same effects, same keyframes, but this time we're going to add a blur. So let's go to effect blur and sharpen and let's add a Gaussian blur. And from here, let's bring up our current keyframes and let's add a keyframe for the blurriness. Let's go to the cut and let's set the blurriness all the way up to like a hundred or something. Get that really blurred out. And check on repeat edge pixels and move to the last keyframe that we had here and set it down to zero. Hit U on your keyboard to bring up the new keyframes. Make the first keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard and make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe as well. And now we have the spin transition with the blur effect. And you know, that looks really cool. Before we jump further into our video, I want to talk about Envato Elements. You know what I dislike as a content producer? Having to spend hundreds of dollars a month to purchase stock footage, music for my videos, After Effects templates, and graphic design templates for my business. With Envato Elements, I can save a ton of money for my business by spending only $16.50 a month where I can download unlimited music, After Effects templates, stock footage, and so much more for my business needs. If you want to learn how you can save countless time and money, be sure to check our links in the video description, which will take you over to Envato elements and we'll move on to our third and final spin technique which is about distorting the image a little bit so what we'll do here is go to effect distort and we're gonna add optics compensation and I love this effect check on reverse lens distortion let's come here to the first keyframe and let's add a keyframe uh, for our field of view so to the last keyframes as well and let's you know make sure to add that keyframe back in there so we keep it at zero let's just check that on there and then let's come here to the middle and let's increase the field of view like crazy. So if I turn off the Gaussian blur real quick, you can see that we are truly distorting this image and that looks cool. And now for distortion, it has a little bit of a zoom in there. And of course you can increase how much field of view that you want in this distortion. So those are three quick techniques to creating spin transitions inside of After Effects. Now, of course, creating transitions from scratch can be fun, but obviously it can take a lot of work depending on how many clips you have and how customized you want to be. So if you want to do like one transition and you want to apply it to all your clips, that's totally fine. However, there's a new pack called Transitions Library, which has 1700 pre-made transitions from creative type transitions all the way to seamless transitions, including the spins that we just created in this tutorial. And what's cool about it, it has its own user interface inside of After Effects. So I can go to one of the many categories that hold these 1700 transitions, click on a transition I want to preview, and you see we're looking at the spin transitions that we just looked at. And what we do here is we can preview it, click it, and click on apply, and it'll automatically apply it to our composition. 
and we'll just place the marker at the cut. And within a few clicks in a couple of seconds, we applied this transition really quick. And, and even with creative type transitions that involve smoke and other types of assets, you can quickly add them as well. So if you want to check out all these transitions and learn more about this awesome pack called Transitions Library, you can check the links in the video description. It'll take you right over to the page where there's the 1700 transitions for transition library. So there are our spin transition techniques along with uh, transition library which is 1700 transitions i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating